Hi guys, it's Richard from Hockey Tutorial, and today we're looking at the CCM Trigger 2 versus the Bauer 1X Lite, and we're gonna have ourselves a little review. So we're gonna look at multiple things when doing this review. That includes the shape of the stick shaft, where the flex is, the materials that are used to create the flex points, the blades, any new changes in the stick from previous models, and overall comparisons head to head on how I feel each stick performs well, and how I feel each stick has its own preferential areas where they've excelled. And also the stick's construction, overall how I feel the different parts of the stick gel together to create an overall product. So first of all, we're gonna look at the CCM Trigger 2. Now this uses a more traditional shape for the shaft. It's a standard box fit. The corners aren't super rounded and the sides aren't super concave. If you like your traditional stick fit, you'll get on well with this. So looking at the actual construction of the stick, now for the first time in the Trigger line, we're looking at a Sigmatex carbon fiber stick. Sigmatex is actually an external company, it's not part of CCM. They're contracted to make the carbon fiber that CCM have been using on their recent sticks. We're looking at the CCM SuperTax 2.0, the Trigger 2. Um, overall, this stick has taken absolutely no damage in the little while I've had it. I've been really impressed with just how durable it's been. Uh, it's been consistent. Overall, Sigmatex being introduced by CCM seems to have been a really good fit and I've been very impressed with it, nothing bad to say. Now after just saying that about Sigmatex, one slight difference with this stick that you won't experience in the Bauer stick. Uh, Bauer use a true one-piece construction and monocoque construction. This is actually a fused two-piece. So whilst you may not notice, bit of info for you, fused two-piece, not a true one-piece. Feels like a true one-piece. You're gonna have to try really, really hard to find any difference, but not a true one-piece. So we'll move on to the kick point for the CCM, and that is a low kick point on this stick. You've probably seen on previous CCMs, the actual shape of the stick is different in the lower third. Uh, that's no different on the Trigger 2. We've got a really deep concave here. Overall, this stick really shines on the flex point. I've, I've really enjoyed it. It's got a slightly softer upper third of the shaft and then a really low kick point down here. I thought it worked great. I really enjoyed working with it. It was exceptional when combined with the blade. They've really, really moved on to something very, very good here. Obviously, you're gonna expect this from a top of the line stick, but this was exceptional. And again, has not taken any damage despite it being in a stick lift zone. So overall, I'm very, very happy with it and I think you will be too. The technology that CCO have used in this kick point area of the stick is pop matrix. Now that's two different types of carbon fiber in the kick point, one to preserve durability whilst the other is slightly softer to store energy. It's worked really, really well. Any concerns about durability over using a softer carbon fiber in conjunction with a harder carbon fiber, it's, it's got no marks on it. It's fantastic, honestly, I can't, I can't say enough about it. It's, it's reacted really well. And like I say, it's in that stick lift zone where you always get chips, you always get everything, and it, there's, there's nothing there. Another change you'll notice in the kick point area of the stick is they've really changed the taper. It's much more aggressive on this stick. You've seen this for a long time with Warrior, with the dagger taper, and with the quick release taper in the Bauer sticks. CCM have adopted a much more aggressive taper now, and it, again, the kick point on this stick is honestly my favorite thing about it. And if this is part of the reason why that has improved so much, then more power to them. So if you've seen my previous stick reviews, you've probably noticed on the bow ones, we were talking about the tactile surface that Bauer have been putting on their stick blades. I'm a big fan of this. CCM have adopted a very similar thing now on their Ascent 3 blade. Um, this is a much softer blade than I was expecting, to be honest. It has the two support structures running through the middle, like in the SuperTax. And it's basically a, it feels different in different areas. It's got a softer heel and a stiffer toe. I personally really enjoyed stick handling with it. I found it was really, really responsive. Having a softer heel actually made a difference and made it feel very different to the Bauer, which we'll get onto later. And a stiffer toe, it's gonna react less when you shoot. That's obviously good. We want to have some stability through the blade when we're releasing shots. It helps with the precision. You don't want a blade opening up on you mid shot and you have no control over it. Overall, I really, really like this. Again, it was a good feature. Probably ranked up there with the kick point to be honest, but we'll get on to comparative kick points when we see the Bauer because we've got some info for you there as well. Another thing that I'll quickly mention before we move on to the Bauer, in this blade, similar to the SuperTax, we've got a reinforced heel and a reinforced toe. Those of you who use CCM sticks throughout 2016 may have noticed some issues with cracking around the toe and around the heel. It was fairly widely reported. CCM have made a great upgrade in this area with the SuperTax 2, and again, this is carried on with this stick it's in great condition. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. So the reinforcement is, is grand. It's worked really, really well and I've been very pleased with it. So don't let that put you off of picking up a CCM because it's certainly no longer an issue in their more recent models. So moving on to the 1X Lite. Now, the first thing that I noticed about this stick, it's no surprise, it's in the name. 
this thing doesn't weigh anything. Like I always tell you how top end sticks, you're expecting them to be great performing, consistent, light and everything. This weighs under 400 grams. I think this is the first top of the line stick we've had that weighs under 400 grams. You can tell literally the first second you pick it up is 15 grams lighter than the One X, which feels like it should be nothing, but it's considerably noticeable. I don't know the way they distributed it through the stick exactly. This is seven grams lighter, this is eight grams lighter, but the actual overall basis of that weight shedding, they've done something, it's pretty magical because it feels amazing. Now, moving on to the shape of the stick, this is slightly different to the CCM. The CCM we've already talked about has that traditional boxy feeling. This is a much more curved corner, concave stick. Uh, I personally prefer this type of stick shape in general, though normally for stick handling, I would I would say that's where this really shines. However, in this particular example, I prefer the CCM to the Bauer for stick handling, but we'll get onto the hows and whys of that later on. So as you'd expect from the One X family, this is a low kick point stick. Now they've slightly changed the quick release taper. So this is the quick release taper plus. It was the QRT taper on the previous version of the One X. So on the One X Lite, we've basically got an increase in the actual mass of the taper. It's to prevent the blade being unstable during shooting. So the One X had some slight issues with players where it was opening up during shots. This is designed to really limit that side to side movement to get shots on target as precisely as possible. So in addition to providing some extra blade stability, the QRT Plus is also here for things like one time is slap shots, really hard passes. We're looking for a little bit more responsiveness in this area rather than a slightly softer feel, which is what was happening in the One X. So similar to the blade opening up, the flex point was kicking back too far and that was making it very difficult to get your one times off, your timing right, things like that. So this area of the stick, probably slightly over-engineered in the past to be super responsive, is now actually more responsive, but doesn't take as long to do anything. I believe it's 11% less travel distance on the kick and 20% more stable. And Bauer love providing us with these numbers. We've got the return of the Elastec resin, which is basically a material they use to increase the durability of the stick. The idea being it prevents micro fractures and all the little bits of damage that eventually wear away your stick's lifetime. As you can see, probably from the camera, this is pretty much pristine. We've had this the same amount of times as the CCM. It's seen roughly the same amount of ice. There's absolutely no issues with it. The only thing about the Bowers is the grip tack tends to show little marks a bit differently to the way the CCM does, but absolutely nothing to write home about. Very pleased with it. Elastec's been doing its job for many, many versions of Bauer sticks, and I don't anticipate they'll be changing anything in this area anytime soon. So in order to improve the blade, we've got the AeroSense inner as before. Uh, we've now got a different type of carbon fiber in the blade than on previous models of the One X. They're using a multi-layer carbon fiber system called ACL, which is Advanced Carbon Layering. So the idea behind this type of carbon fiber is it's thinner, it's lighter, and it's stiffer. So you're looking at a more precise blade whilst also shedding weight, which is obviously what we're always looking for out of a top-end hockey stick. And overall, I think they've done a fantastic job. You've still got the tactile surface that I always rant and rave about, which I think is a great addition to basically any hockey stick. The blade itself, whilst being an advancement, personally for me, isn't as good as the blade on the CCM. I preferred having the soft heel, hard toe, which was giving me much more responsiveness in the stick handling area. I felt like this blade was almost slightly hollow in how it felt when I was stick handling. But for shooting, no complaints. It's stiff, it's accurate. The puck just jumps off. It's fantastic. And this is all personal preference. Like I've had a lot of hours with both and it's again, something that I've gone back and forth on. I actually don't prefer the curve on the CCM as much as I like the trusty old P88 on the One X. But overall, fantastic blade. You're not gonna have any issues with it. But if you're super into your stick handling, maybe give both a little try if you can. So now we're gonna look at my own personal opinion of these two sticks head to head. I've been lucky enough to use both for a little while now. I previously have used obviously the One X, I've used Triggers, I've used other models in both Bauer and CCM. As you'd expect from Bauer, they were going for the lightest stick possible with the One X Lite. That's their signature range, I feel. They go really, really hard to make sure that stick is the lightest thing on the market. And as you'd expect, 397 grams, it doesn't weigh anything. It's the lightest stick available. If you're gonna notice the 13 grams difference between the CCM and the Bauer, great, cool. You really gonna kick yourself maybe if you don't get the lighter one. But on day-to-day -day wear, like when you're tired, when you're back checking, when you're anything, if that 13 grams is gonna make a difference to you, I'm not so sure. But 
It's there, it's lighter. If that's better for you, that's better. Now we've already looked at the shape of the stick, the traditional versus the concave. Now, like I said, traditionally I would go with the concave style for stick handling. I find it suits me a lot better. However, these two sticks sort of had their own personal areas in which I felt they really excelled. Now, the Bauer 1X Lite concave shape, usually the one I'd pick for stick handling. However, I felt like the flex point in this was unreal. Like, I've waxed lyrical about the CCM. I thought the CCM was great, but the kick from the Bauer is awesome. I was only using a 77, so it was easy to load. And you could really feel it fight back every time you make a shot, every time you do a hard pass. It really wanted to release with everything it had. I really enjoyed using it. The way the blade and the kick work together makes shooting an absolute dream. But like I said, for me personally, the blade is so light, it almost has a, a hollow feel to it when I'm stick handling. I didn't appreciate that. I know some people really look for that sort of feeling in the stick where the blade doesn't weigh anything and they can get exact feedback from the puck. But for me, it was almost too much. Um, whereas the CCM with the softer heel and going into that stiffer toe, I felt really worked well for me personally stick handling. It really suited my game. Now, if you're super into a rigid, rigid stick with a rigid, rigid blade, you're not going to have any issues with the Bauer. You're not going to have any issues with the CCM, but I'm here to compare the two for you. For me, shooting with the Bauer, it was awesome. Shooting with the CCM, it was still awesome, it just wasn't quite as good. But stick handling for that stick for me was a real highlight and I didn't feel like I had quite that level with the Bauer, despite that being in my preferred curve, which is a P88. So, an overall summary, we've got Bauer's top of the line, low kick point, in my opinion, flagship silo, the 1X Lite, and CCM, which is an increasingly popular NHL brand, their low kick point in the Trigger 2. Now, if you're looking for a low kick point stick, you're gonna win, regardless. If you can afford either of these and you're taking them home, you're gonna have no problems. I guarantee it. They're both durable, they both kick great, they both feel great. My own personal, takeaways from each stick was that if I was picking it purely to shoot, I would pick the Bauer. If I was picking it to live with day to day, I feel like I'd make less personal stick handling errors with the CCM while still retaining just top end performance in shooting. So in conclusion, you're going to be picking up probably one of the two best sticks on the market. I've not had anything that reacts the same way as these. The Warrior was really close, but the Warrior was a little while ago. They're great. They're both light as hell. You won't feel them. They're both responsive. They're both durable. They're both precise. And for me, if I was gonna spend my hard earned cash, this is probably the generation of sticks that has lasted the best over time. Whereas previously I've had chips and things like that. So clearly the Elastec resin and things like this, Sigma Tex carbon fiber, it's making a difference to these companies. It's not just things they're putting on the stick to sell sticks and make them look fancy. They're putting in the work and they're getting results from them. So in conclusion, go for it. You'll have no regrets. If you've got the money, buy them. So thanks for watching the video guys. As you can probably tell, this was one of my faves to film. I really enjoyed it. Now make sure you're subscribed to us down below and if you're going to watch any more videos, they'll be over here or up here or maybe down here. I don't know where Chris is going to put them. But see you guys next time. <laughs> they'll be over here or down here or over there. I don't know where Chris is going to put them. <laughs>